years have been especially special, not because I've been vice chair, but because I've had the chance to work with Kath. Uh, she's a, an excellent chief executive uh, and an excellent person to work with. And I don't know if any of you are aware of it, today's her birthday. <laughs> And I'll try not to make a remark about typically Scottish. She arranged today's launch so she could have to buy the drinks. <laughs> so, without further ado, if you'd all put your mouths together and sing Happy Birthday, <laughs> I'd like to introduce Kath Malin to the stage. Happy Society, I'd like to welcome you to the Scottish Cafe and Restaurant, to the National Gallery of Scotland, and to the launch of the 2013 Edinburgh Festival Fringe programme. Here we go. Uh, I can reveal that the uh, 2013 Edinburgh Festival Fringe will feature 45,464 performances of 2,871 shows in 273 venues right across the city and beyond. Astonishingly, an increase of over 6% in 2012, making this fringe the largest yet. Yay! Or perhaps it's not that astonishing. I firmly believe that the Edinburgh Festival Fringe is not just important for being the largest arts festival in the world, or for being completely open access, although those things are profoundly important but more important for being the most wonderful event created by the spontaneous freedom of expression of tens of thousands of creative souls from all over the world, from all walks of life, at all stages in their careers, and representing all art forms. Our audience, like most of you in this room, I imagine, are constantly using one device or another to engage with the information, entertainment, and people that matter to them. So you can engage with The Fringe this year on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, and new from this year, Tumblr, as well. So the Facebook ticketing app will allow users to see what shows their friends are going to and to buy those tickets too. As we introduce more digital ways to buy tickets, so the ability to pick up those tickets becomes increasingly important. So this year, for the first time, audiences buying tickets through Ed Fringe and our apps will be able to pick those tickets up, not just from the official Fringe ticket collection points on the High Street, the Virgin Money Half Price Hut, the University of Edinburgh Visitor Centre and the Glasgow Box Office, but also at 22 different fringe venues right across the city during August. Making the business of getting tickets more easily will mean the audience will be able to enjoy every second that bit more. This year, we're again offering a packed programme of events for fringe participants at Fringe Central, our participant centre based at the University of Edinburgh's Appleton Tower. This programme of events is geared towards the professional and career development of those individuals taking part in the fringe, helping them to get the most out of their trip. Events in the programme range from a drop-in session by Equity to a workshop on improvisation run by the New York Conservatory for Dramatic Arts. This whole programme of almost 1,000, 1,100 events is completely free to companies registered with the Fringe.